Of course, the more pain we are all experiencing from the high price of gas, the more benefit there is for those who can access electric vehicles. We have to make that differentiation to make sure that the American consumer has what it needs to grow, to gl- grow our economy and the global economy, but not take steps and endanger the climate uh, work that we're trying to do to make sure that we're on a better footing to accelerate the transition. And of course, in the long run, the solution is to move as fast as possible away from fossil fuels so that we, uh, frankly, are never again in this situation. What? Joining me now, the great Carol Roth, recovering investment banker, author of The War on Small Business. Carol, I mean, I'm not trying to be over the top. How can I take this as being anything else than a war on humanity itself? The world runs on oil. It's not just the gasoline. Everything's made with it. The world is made of oil. To declare war on that is to declare war on people themselves. Well, before we get to these frivolous things, Jesse, I think we have to address the important things. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Oh, wait, that's a different (laughs) show. Um, I do have to say, though, you look fantastic 65 years of of age oh. you are looking great keep doing what you're doing and i hope that you have a fantastic fantastic birthday uh but now that we've got Ma'am. the important things out of the way we can go back to the frivolous things like i don't know keeping humanity alive and you know these are the people who are decoupled from reality these are the people who think that you can suck rainbows out of the behinds of unicorns and somehow power the planet they have been wrong on every single thing that they have predicted by the way including climate for the last 50 years energy equals human flourishing if we take away the 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 energy people will starve people will die and i have no problem with people trying to come up with other options that are potentially cleaner that should definitely include nuclear which we know is is the best form of clean energy but if they want to do these things that's fine but there is no transition there's nothing that's available you know at the scale that they're talking about and we cannot take away traditional energy on these hopes and prayers Carol, it would be one thing if we had some wingnut on the street corner screaming about climate change and things like that. But the problem we have, at least as I see it, is these people are ingrained in positions of leadership across the spectrum. Democrats, Republicans, all throughout government, billionaires. I mean, this stuff comes at us from everywhere. How are we supposed to come back at at, at such an ingrained power structure that's trying to wreck us? Well, first of all, we do have a wingnut uh, on the corner. I think it was some teenager from Europe who is dictating all of our policy decisions and getting these people on board. Um, But certainly this is a cash grab and a lot of the decisions that were made were made to grab more money and more power, which works out well until companies and people who are you know being imp- impacted by this start losing money and then they start going well you know maybe this doesn't make as much sense you know we're seeing this obviously in Europe they're having all kinds of issues because they've moved away from energy and now are dependent on Putin so they've started voting and going well you know the, these oil projects these natural gas projects these nuclear projects you know maybe we can call these green now so when people who are you know at least connected to the circle start suffering consequences, including economic consequences, um, then they wake up and go, oh, you know, maybe maybe this wasn't just cute and fun. This is pretty serious and we need to to shift things. And that's why, you know, we should be as individuals calling the companies that we are invested in, that we do business in and just saying, look, ESG and all of this climate stuff is a scam. We want you to do what's best for society. And, you know, do you want our dollars or do you not want our dollars? Because at the end of the day, that's the green that talks. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.